That's your boy Reese Reese. Hoping that we get a full game week of action. Preferably including a Lake Canal win, because uh, I can't remember the last time we did. Oh boy. Seven without a win. One win in ten. Mate, we are shy. Properly shy. What's up? Aaron Ramsey, four player of the match. Fair play to that. Edson. Mars have kept eight clean sheets. God, they're dull. Eight clean sheets. Five wins. That's a lot of nil-nil draws. FC, FC Sirs have reclaimed their FC Draws title. Right then, let's get the Estonian derby underway. What have we got? This is so demoralizing. Klinsman's in and playing the most boring 4-2-3-1. At least Bielsa is still on his 4-2-4 bullshit. Mm. No star men? I like that Flick does continue to play Kimmich at right back though. Oh that's no, Klinsman. Flick is the men's one. I'm an idiot. And Klinsman start off with a win. Oh, good run in there from Aspas. Uh, like who else could they play there though? Realistically, you gotta think this was a. A squad drafted without need for wingers. Winsman or Binsman. <laughs> Felipe, Nacho. Bruno finds Ruben. Oh, lovely football. Ends with a reasonable effort, but Ruben Patricio holds on. Fabinho finds Deli Alley. He's through. Oh, what a goal. Oh, this from Deli Alley. More afternoon, mo well, morning for you, isn't it? So I say morning. Feels like morning for me as well. Oh, Harry Kane. Five Delhi. Scouts legend. No. Kimmich. Finds. Oh. Scouts legend Yago Aspas wins a corner. Tellers is flying up the right wing. Classic left back material. Bruno, oh, Nacho, loads of space. Oh, big cheer! I can't head it goalwards. Just 
Chance for Nilwall. Oh, no grass pass, just keeps that in. Kivik, what a goal! Oh, what a hit! So Yago Aspas does incredibly well to keep this in play. Hits the byline, cuts it back, and a marauding Kimmich just... Literally nobody moves. And it just zips its way through everyone. And into the bottom corner. Oh. Cracking effort. Patient stuff at the back here from our bread. Oh, Arkadiusz. Oh, good save from Patricio. Arkadiusz with the rebound hits the post from the narrowest of angles. Why do we want them to lose 2 1? Is, is it goal difference relevant? for Martyrs. Ah, the goal difference zero. Goal difference zero, 20 games into a season with zero draws. Very impressive. How many games are we going to have this season? 34. Ah, oh, so we can't have any perfect triple scores. That's sad. Like the fabled 666, or whatever it was. Like, or was it 10 10 10, Sir Real Madrid? Can't have been 666. We've never had a uh, 10 team season. Oh, Arkadiusz, there you go, Wammy, got your goal. Having spent the last couple of days playing so much FM21 beta, I'm really excited for next season when we can play it on FM21 because the match engine just looks so much prettier. Well, if it's like the one that Bime are playing, it'll be Steve Bruce's I'm feeling frisky formation, won't it? Like the... Three centre backs, two wing backs, two centre mids, two wingers, one striker. Because like that's what Bayern were playing in the latter stages of the Champions League. Oh, Arkadiusz! Great opportunity to equalise, but he puts it over. Just missed out on their first ever draw. And there we have it, the Alvarez run continues, Neil Wool. Kings of Estonia. Klopp and Enrique at risk. Jesus. So the win sends Nilwall up above the BBC and firmly plants the Ducks at the bottom. Sad times all round. Right, so 
full strength, Barcelona side, up against Starman Hazard. The cheetah himself, Presnel Kimpembe, shocked that he's still being picked or even allowed to play at all. Can tell it. Ooh. Right then. Patient stuff here from Barcelona. Now, we know Barcelona aren't a team that necessarily need a fast start. They are more than happy to fall behind, activate God mode, and then come back and punish you. Really? I want nothing more than Vince to do it so I can spend the entire season mocking him for his lack of morals and what a terrible teacher he is to the youth of tomorrow. The youth of today? Youth of today. Oh! Leroy! Slide tackle goal. Look at that. Beautiful slide tackle goal. Calvan. Hazard. Oh. Pjanic, straight to the wall. The wall down the foot have it all to do. Oh, Dembele's picked up a knock. Oh, Mitch is alive. He's alive. Cancelo, Barella, Suarez. Oh, Dembele puts it wide. Delict, Ruben Diaz. Oh, Hazard. Straight in line. Becker. Oh, cheeky little Rabona. He was offside. That's the point. With Vince's vehement stance on cheating, where do things like offside fall? Because it is against the rules. So being offside is cheating. Suarez. Oh, good effort. But you can score a goal by being offside, which is arguably worse. Right? And let's be honest, if you are offside, your, po your plan is to score a goal whilst being offside. So... I think that is... Oh! Eden Hazard! 
aerial threat. Being a side is a very <laughs> Calvin. I don't know if you're the one to be claiming that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely in the category of people that are <laughs> me, you, Mache. Definitely in the need to know when to shut up category. I don't know if we can start claiming that about others. Oh, the shit Cahaya is on. Well, I don't know if I can keep calling him the shit Cahaya. I think he scored more goals than my Cahaya. He scored two. That is almost certainly more than my one has scored. I don't get why they're called BDLs. This has been bugging me now for a few days since people have started saying it. Help. Explain to me, mate. Oh, <laughs> BDLF, BDL. <laughs> Cause I have no idea how else to say it. Why would it not be Kahaya? They, they pronounce that R's a bit hurry, don't they? Do they not? In Spanish? Where have I got R's as a sound like that? Yeah, BDLs. I <laughs> uh, see Nicky Butcher's our stand-in Vince for the day, while Vince is away. I have Well, Francisco, teach me. I make no claims of being able to say these names. Um, that's what you lot are here for. You're all much smarter than me. You teach me and I try and learn. So it is just Korea. Why do I feel like Spanish people never say the letter R? Why have I convinced myself that is a thing? Huh. The more you know, I guess. What a weird thing for me to have convinced myself. So, Kareem Benzema is the second best striker in the world because he is very good at being the second best player on his team. Is a very, very bold comment. Nobody else could have been, could have happily played second fiddle at their own team. Those players are all far too good to be the second best player at their team. It's such a ridiculous comment. But that, that makes no sense. Nicky, because Ronaldo has still been great at Juventus. He still scored a shitload of goals. <laughs> I'm so confused. Cristiano Ronaldo, renowned failure at Portugal. <laughs> oh. Nicky, you, you're doing a wonderful, wonderful stand-in for Vince.
Uh, the goose costume. I'm mostly frustrated it exists. Um, the price of it, even if it was zero kudos, I would have still hated it. I just, I just fucking hate geese. On the plus side, I now can spend my entire life sacrificing myself to grab geese and bring myself to uh, a full guide based death alongside the shit cunt geese. And that's all that really matters. Oh, Felix. Okay. So Suarez is a better football player. It Also, you're going to have a hard time saying he's a worse human being, given that Benzema was not allowed to play for the French national team because he stole from his teammates. So it's not like Benzema's the, the, the greatest person alive. Oh my god, how have we not scored there? A wonder save, and then we thunder it off the bar. Oh, blackmail. Either way, whatever he did, he did something so bad, his teammates never wanted to play with him again. Out of sight from the children. <laughs> Heroes don't steal, they blackmail. <laughs> Big Bob? Is John Stones playing right back for me? Joe Campbell missing out on his start. Sad times. <laughs> oh, Mickey's great at this. Nikki, you do a wonderful Vince impression. I don't know if anyone's ever told you it, but you are great at this. <laughs> well, we've not conceded. Every club. We've also been comfortably the better side for the first time this season. Well, and uh, Thiago. Let's not forget, there are kids in the stands. You can't see if someone's biting someone from the stands. Could just be a hug. Your evidence is all circumstantial, Nicky. You were there. Oh, Big Bob? Yes! We're gonna win the league. We're gonna win the league. We're gonna win the... What ball this is? Look at this. Defence splitting. Big Bob, easy tapping. <laughs> Spicy chat today. <laughs> Oh, Big Barnes is on for the shit career. Oh, Idrissic. Oh, Big Bob. Oh, Big Bob, you got to do better than that. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, North Korea's got to be shit career, right?
Do they? Do they though? As a general rule, countries with dictators probably shit. So you got North Korea, the USA. Although, that one World Cup with North Korea was great. In part because their best player, their their main striker was had never was like too scared to actually go to North Korea because he thought he would never get to leave. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. How have we conceded this? Man, we're so unlucky. Wait. Oh, why was no one defending him? I'm playing a flat back four and a hole in midfield. One of you should have had Rabio. So unlucky. Oh, oh. What are you on about? John Stones is is a uh, fully a very accomplished right back. Oi oi oi! Martyrs uh, versus Halfman up next. Halfman have been in pretty good form. Martyrs have got one goal in their last four games. So let's see how this goes. Uh, if they don't score, then it could well be the end of Klopp. <laughs> uh, not being funny, Wammy, you've not scored a goal in three games. So, uh, it might just be that the more attacking formation is required to help you score a fucking goal. But will they be good enough? And don't forget, he can only he can only take five of them with him. What's he going to do about the other eighteen? Oh, Griezmann, one on one. Well, uh, here's hoping Klopp and the Martyrs can find a goal for the first time in a long time. Otherwise, clop out. But that's such a negative attitude. You can't go into a game trying not to lose. You need to be going into every game trying to win. And you can't win a game without scoring a goal. Who's has the biggest decrease?
Do you think you would score more? Hmm, don't know how I feel about that. I guess it depends how how you're trying to play the ball forwards, right? If you just play more direct in the 4 2 3 1, you would score more goals. Well, surely that could then just be fixed by playing Ramsey as your cam and De Bruyne as your CM. Why? Surely that would achieve the exact same thing. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne, showing why he is in fact the cam. Frankie Roberto Griezmann Oof. Aubameyang Roberto Oh Griezmann back puts half man back in front Galvin's opened a can of worms here by saying this. Uh, he has now become FM Databa for FM21. Everyone's going to be coming with all their questions. Roberto, acres of space. Oh, heavy touch. Tegler Fico gets there first. Not Haaland's finest work. Coutinho with the free kick. No, just a very short one. And all the way back. Oh, what a goal! This 4-2-3-1 really paying off here for Sporting Martyrs. Another wonderful ball there from Kevin De Bruyne to go along with his wonder goal. Quite good at football, isn't he, Kevin De Bruyne? Big Zlats having one of the best years of his career. Be a shame if they did. Oh, Kante goes close. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. Single-handedly decided that he didn't want to lose, didn't want to draw, he was going to win today, and he's done all of it entirely by himself. Oh, 
Oh, Coutinho. Ah, oh, Kevin De Bruyne can't defend, sadly. Um, and his defence have properly let him down here. If only Kevin De Bruyne could play centre back as well. And a three-all draw it is. Kevin De Bruyne is going to feel a bit unlucky that the rest of his team couldn't do anything to stop his wonderful performance being enough to win. Right, up next, Weasels Maychester. Neymar versus Ronaldo. Ricky Lambert versus Zidane. An all star match up in the dugout. Tabic just over the bar. Oh, Costa straight at the keeper. Oh, Ronaldo from the corner. Save hands, Kepa. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong, Real Madrid are a better team than Manchester City, but, right, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that doesn't, just because Benzema was playing for a better team doesn't make him a better player. Otherwise, we get into really weird territory there, where, like, I don't know, fucking Cash for Schmeichel is better than Hugo Lloris, which feels weird. Don't know how I feel about that. Just because Leicester won the league and Spurs never have. Oh, Pogba, heads over. Ah, oh, yeah, fair. Luis does have a World Cup. Francisco, that that's very silly. Luis is not bad. <laughs> oh, Ronaldo. Can he do it all on his own? No, he cannot. Good point, George. There you go. Another good example. What happened to Joe Hart? Because Joe Hart wasn't... Joe Hart was good for about two, three years. 
And then all of a sudden, he became very, very not good. Do you reckon he got, like, the yips? Do you reckon goalkeeper yips are a thing? Because I reckon they probably are. Ah, yes, uh, Hugo Lloris, famous Spurs player from the 50s and 60s. You got me, Mark. <laughs> this has been an absolute thriller, this nil-nil. This back-to-back nil-nils for Manchester. Dude, that goes close. <laughs> to be fair, Baychester are on 14 fouls, it's not like it's been a one-sided, it's not like you've just been beating them up. Oh, Ericsson dips it. Oh, Ronaldo. What terrible, terrible effort that was. What were you trying to do? Oh! Yeah, uh, I was using it as a comparison that people might say Kasper Schmeichel has had a better career than Hugo Lloris. But I for obviously forgot Hugo Lloris has won the World Cup, which does kind of trump it. So it did end up being a pretty poor example. Yeah. Three clean sheets in a row, though, for Manchester. But they... So they scored nine against Brigstock, and then in the six games since, they've scored three goals. <laughs> they were stealing goals from their next few games to m get it all the way up to nine in that one game. Oh, big, big battle at the bottom here. <laughs> oh, Flick's gone for the flying V. So, this is the same formation they had under Favre. And this is the formation I expected out of Flick. This one. Because this is what um, Bayern were playing in the Champions League, right? This formation. Oh yeah, they were, they would occasionally play the cam, wouldn't they, for like Odegaard and stuff. You're right. So Favre was literally the most basic of pitches. Like Klopp, can't decide which of the two boring formations he wants to play. They think they're cool because they play two different formations. But when your two different formations are basically the two most boring formations in football, it doesn't count. Oh! Great start, though, for the menace. Jadon Sancho. Finally scores against someone other than the Ducks. Uh, what do we think? Last time Jadon Sancho scored, the other manager was sacked. Is it like the Aaron Ramsey murder goal?
Is it the end for Steve Bruce? Alexi, Pellegrini. Oh, oh. Bruce in still because what was he meant to do with this kind of thing? Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. If it was up to me, Bruce could have finished the season on zero points and not been sacked. Literally, any point he achieves is a point more than he should. So, FM21, I played against New... I, I, I was Norwich, and in the second round of the Carabao Cup, I got paired against Newcastle. So I played against this Surreal Madrid side, and I won. And I'm in the championship. So, uh... Steve Bruce working miracles. Not losing every game here. Oh my god! Lorenzo Pellegrini... Look at this. Oh, top bins. Oh, oh, Luca Modric. I did a big drop. Jamal. Oh, is Jamal Lewis playing left wing again? Or is it, no, he is playing left back. Is he? Can I work out who's playing left back? Is it Jamal Lewis or the other guy? Oh, Wilson. Oh. That was a good opportunity there for Callum Wilson. It would be a bit upset he didn't score that. So. It is Richie at left wing back. That means Jamal Lewis is playing on the wing. Exciting. They keep doing this, and every time they play Jamal Lewis on the wing, they always have Matt Ritchie behind him. I'm like, didn't Matt Ritchie spend most of his career as a winger? Why is he not the one you're playing on the wing? Oh, Vidal. Good from 12 yards. Look at that, never in doubt. Matt Ritchie did used to be a winger, right? He's only recently become... A wing back slash full back. It's like Jesus Navas. As he's got older, he's just slowly slinked further back. And Ashley Young and Tony Valencia. Yeah. <laughs> you look at your squad and you're like, mate, if my squad's this good, this is. And. The previous guy wasn't getting wins. This could be rough. <laughs> and then you get ready for your first match and someone passes you the team sheet and you're like, I don't know who any of these people are. This has to be good for me. <laughs> also, how did the other guy get sacked? So, Menace, they beat the Ducks 3 0. Jadon Sancho got a goal. And Lolois was sacked. Now, Menace have scored three, including a goal from Sancho. Fix up Fabshaw. That's not an achievement. I'm definitely... The way we've been playing this season, we are definitely surreal Madrid rivals and nobody else. Serge. Sancho. Oh.
everyone beats the Ducks. Surreal Madrid beat the Ducks, Francisco. It's not a fucking achievement. I don't know what went wrong this year. Maybe it's time to give up on terrible formations. Maybe I should just be a basic bitch and build a 4-2-3-1. Maybe, maybe. Oh, Alexi nips in. Pellegrini, Valverde, Vidal. But all the good managers don't play shit formations. Oh shit, Peckerman is available. For a long time, Conte was my... If Simeone gets sacked, I'll pick up Conte. But then there's another part of me that just wants to, to draft Steve Bruce. And continue to have shit managers. Interesting choice there from Koulibaly. <laughs> but the menace hold on for the comfortable 3 0 win. Not enough to kill off Steve Bruce. It's like a cockroach. Right, dogs, pigs. Big opportunity for the pigs. A win here could pull them back to within one. Is Miley? Interesting. Is Miley must have had a great game in the cup, I guess, or Modric had a shit game in the cup. Because Modric is the highest average rating in the league, but Is Miley is the highest average rating in the team. Very odd. That one cup game. No, Francisco is in. It went Messi, Ronaldo, Koulibaly is what we mean by third pick. As in, he was the third player picked. Not third round of pick. Yeah. Yeah. Second round, great spot for Koulibaly. Great pick. Picking Koulibaly ahead of second best striker in the world, Karim Benzema, probably less defensible. <laughs> oh we're gonna fire up some some full guys after this after the stream play a couple rounds maybe Oh, oh, Messi's injured. He's out for another week or two. Oh! Just have porridge delivered. What's up?
Not gonna lie. I live a pretty fucking good life. Among Us does look very fun. Also, any opportunity to argue with Vince and I'm in. Arguing with Vince, one of my favourite hobbies. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just like having been on <laughs> calls with myself and Mage, just trying to have a conversation with me, Mage, and up to eight other people just seems very difficult for up to eight other people. <laughs> oh, there you go, second half, much better. Hakim Ziyech. What a goal. Wait, that went... How did his... His Miley's been robbed of an assist there. Is Miley robbed of an assist. I've said it before and I'll say it again, this pocket dog side seem incapable of winning unless Messi scores all of their goals for them. So, Messi being injured makes it very difficult for pocket dogs to win. Oh, curved run watch. A penalty to equalise. Stefano Sensi, cracking penalty taker. I don't know if this is true, but uh, I don't even know if it'll be him that takes it. Oh, Danny Parejo actually is a good penalty taker. Loves a penalty. Isn't Danny Parejo one of those people in the Ward Prowse elite free kick takers? So all of the top three drew, right? Assuming this one remains level for the next four minutes. Which it is not. I take it back. Step aside, Lionel Messi. Danny Parejo's the new king. What a fit. What a... What a... What's the word I'm looking for? Hit. That's the word. Difficult word to remember. Hit. All three of those letters. Oh! Ziesh! Oh my god! Oh, wow, that's great. Grab a gold and then just look after it. You need one person defending, one person just retrieving all the spare eggs, one person running interference, and then one person trying to get eggs out of whoever's losing. Oh, ice tries to ice the game. All I'm saying is, Ismaili would have buried that. That's all I'm saying on the matter. Ismaili would have buried it. 
Hunter over. Ruben Loftus Cheek. How the fuck is that guy playing in this level? There we have it. A draw. All three of the top teams drew. Right? They did all draw. Yeah. FC draws versus the geese. I could do with an FC draws win here. Larice with the save, nice. Zinchenko, Royce, Aguero, lovely, lovely, Karim Benzema, eat your heart out, it's quite funny how obviously season one we had FC Sers and Barcelona and then in season two those two teams basically just had a team named Child and we ended up with FC Barcelona. <laughs> yes, Nicky. I mean, yeah. Why were you like? Why were you pro Benzema when you've drafted Aguero? I'd forgotten all about this. Whammer. How? What did you do? Oh, Royce. <laughs> oh, whammer, whammer, whammer. Well, th I think that's the issue. You were trying to do too many things. Oh my lord. Son, what a goal. Egg scramble can, can get fucked. Egg scramble is shite. Egg siege, great game. No, it's not. Egg scramble is shy. Egg siege is great. Look at you two uncultured swines. Next, you'll be saying you don't like tail tag. Oh, fuck. Although, the tile match one, when it's now got the new angry beam, great game. Great game with the beam. I've also realised I'm one of the worst perfect match players going because I, I hate the game so much I refuse to participate in the game. I spend my entire time just running around starting fights that I then forget when the floor's about to drop. I don't realise the floor's about to drop out and I invariably die. It's not ideal. I 
don't like this. Don't like this one bit. Oh! Oh, how did Royce not score that? Roman is off. Come on. Come on, Kingsley. Royce over the bar. I'll be frustrated if you lose this game. I could accept a draw because I also drew. So it wouldn't extend their lead. But uh, falling to 10 points back is going to be a bit of an issue. Oh, yes, Jordan Henderson. He's trying to steal Peckerman from me because he's a bastard. Uh, I'm going to go out and say it, Nicky. I think this season is an actual reflection of how last season should have gone for you as well. I think you, you just overperformed last year. No, Mitch just isn't really paying much attention. I'm assuming he's trying to get some work done. I was with you in the first half there, George. I was with you in the first half. Let's say the second. Coburn? Oh! Cheeky. Tamori. Oh, fuck. I hate seeing how good Big Rom is for the geese. In part because I should still have him. If it weren't for the fucking Edison Allison situation, he'd still be a duck. But no, he left to join the fucking geese of all people and he carries on being great and it's fucking awful. It is the biggest betrayal. Uh, they get to rebrand. So I envisage being called the geese next season because that's the obvious joke and I'm going to hate it. Whatever he calls us, I'm sure it's going to be shit. 
and nowhere near as funny as the joke I had lined up for what I was going to call his team. Yeah, Reese's Geese is actually pretty funny. Oh, Ross Barkley, powerful runner. Oof. <laughs> oh. What's such an odd comment? That was such an odd comment. Right, Monday night football. Enrique survives, doesn't get sacked. Still just at risk. No, the Klinsman debut's already happened. Mourinho. Uh, feeling adventurous, uh, has gone for a flat 4-1-4-1, classic Jose. Bale playing left midfield, lovely, lovely. Oh, Bale. Oh, look at him go. It's like Tottenham versus Inter Milan here. That run was beautiful. No, Klinsman's at nil wall, Francisco. Where did, wait, where? Where were they in Whirly Gig? <laughs> Fair enough. Well, that was thrilling. Monday night, Jose Mourinho really living up to the billing here of free-flowing, exciting football. Carl Hell Flyer. Sorry, Mane. Oh. Oh, Benzema beaten to it by Maguire.
Wait, what? So... The jump level, but they've now got fruit cannons. Mate! That sounds incredible. Johnny. The tempo out of this uh, Mourinho side is truly something else. Oh, Bale at the back post. Hits the post. Can't quite squeeze it in. Chilwell, can you get it in? Sadio Mane, back post. Easy peasy. Powerful header. Arthur, Johnny. Arthur Tielowitz. Mourinho side playing with all of the the ambition of a team that's losing. They were so desperate to get forward and make something happen. And it's not just diminutive winger, it's the diminutive winger at the Bass Post. Like, Sadio Mane single-handedly created that meme in Season 1 as he carried Le Ball de la Foot to the title. So it's always especially nice when it is Sadio Mane at the back post. Oh! Lamar m takes the ball mid-spin, finishes his spin, and then puts his foot through it into the top corner. What a goal! That was one of the best goals I've ever seen! And I just watched the video of that guy do the bicycle kick, hit the bar, it bounced back to him, and he bicycle kicked it again. And that goal was fucking great. Have people seen that goal? People should have seen that goal. Oh, Mourinho switched into a 4-2-3-1. Now that he's two down. There's one of them back. Oscar, great goal. Oh, yes. Dr. Marcus Rashford, MBE, forces a great save out of Donnarumma. Oh, Sadio Mane's flying, got space, got numbers in support. Oh, Johnny, great challenge. Six minutes of added time. Are they aware that Sir Alex isn't here anymore? Oh, Donnarumma's up for this, he wants to go forward for the... He's like, let me take it, let me take it. There we have it. It's been a while since we've had a full game week, but there we have one. All wrapped up nicely. Pellegrini, one touch, great finish. Oh boy, Pigs Barcelona on Monday. That's a big game. Where's a big game? 
Kevin De Bruyne. Great finish, great finish. Okay, this Kimmich goal was absolutely unbelievable. I was a huge fan of this goal. Just the way he just comes marauding up to it. He just keeps going through it. Boom. Right then. Much love. I will see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.